Hey guys, welcome to my channel Metacosis Perfectionality. Today's topic is cell structure, the anatomy of the cell. This is Metacosis Perfectionality talking about physiology and let's get started. In my previous video, I've told you that protoplasm is cytoplasm plus nucleoplasm, cytoplasm is cytosol plus organelles. Protoplasm is made of water, electrolytes, proteins, lipids, and carbohydrates. More than 200 years ago, Anthony van Leeuwenhoek discovered a lumen at the center of the cell that now we called nucleus. Little did he know that hundreds of years later, medical students will be stuck trying to study this thing called the nucleus. Thank you, Mr. Leeuwenhoek. Again, cell membrane has the cytoplasm and these are the organelles inside of it. These are membrane-bound organelles that what makes these cells eukaryotic cells instead of prokaryotes. Very cool. All of these membranes are made of lipids, especially lipid bilayer. Why lipid? Because it forms a barrier between the outer environment, which is water, and the inner cellular environment, which is also water. So we have the cell membrane, then we have the nucleus in the center. It carries the genetic material in the form of DNA and organize it into chromosomes. Cytosol allows for diffusion of molecules through different areas of the cell. Very nice. And organelles such as the mitochondria, the lysosome, the endoplasmic reticulum, and the famous Golgi apparatus. What a terrible drawing. Every structure needs a skeleton, and your cell is no exception. It needs a skeleton called the cytoskeleton, because cyto means cell. In brief, here are the organelles and their function. Mitochondria is the powerhouse. Lysosome is the soldier. Endosome is the delivery guy. Rough endoplasmic reticulum is the translator. It's also the uber. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum is the donut. Golgi is the sorter. Peroxisomes are the gem trainers. The cell membrane, also known as plasma membrane, is a lipid bilayer. What kind of lipid? Mostly phospholipid plus some cholesterol. Very cool. It has hydrophilic head and hydrophobic tail. Why hydrophilic, which means water lover? Because it will interact with water outside of the cell. Same thing here. This hydrophilic head will interact with the aqueous environment inside of the cell. Hydrophobic tail, pardon me, okay, is highly selective. Not anything here can enter and not anything here can exit. Okay, there is order. The nuclear membrane is a similar concept. Double membrane, made of lipid. Outer membrane, inner membrane, and intermembrane space, also known as the perinuclear space. It has some pores to allow entry and exit of some stuff, and it maintains the internal environment in the nucleus by separating the nucleus from the cytoplasm. The membrane pores allow selective exchange between the nucleus and the cytoplasm and vice versa. Molecules go by carrier proteins because they are big, ions go by diffusion. The outer membrane is continuous with the rough endoplasmic reticulum. That's why it's studded with ribosomes. Next, let's talk more about the phospholipid bilayer plasma membrane. So make sure to subscribe to my channel on YouTube and click the bell to get notified. Also Facebook, Twitter, SoundCloud, Instagram, and please consider supporting my channel on Patreon. Thank you so much for watching. This is Metacosis Perfectionalis. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard. I love you, Mr. Leeuwenhoek.